My name is Benedict Tosu. Welcome to the sports segment here on the AM Show. It's a Friday morning preview Friday. And of course, uh, we'll tell you what to expect this coming weekend. Here on the local scene, there will no be a Premier League games. Rather, MT and FA Cup matches on the international front. Of course, action. Uh, there will be action in the English Premier League, uh, the Spanish La Liga, as well as the Italian Serie A. But here on the local scene, a lot to talk about. And this morning, we start from the camp of the Ghana Football Association. The president... Keto Kuku has responded to allegations uh, that he's running the association with family and friends. Now, according to him, no one wins an election and surrounds himself with his enemies. Oh, I hear that all the time. Is it true? Um, I don't know what they mean by that. But nobody wins an election and brings his enemies to come and work. I will not win an election and bring my enemies to come and work. I'll bring people I believe have the capacity to help me deliver on my promise. And everybody or anybody that I have brought on board believe in my way. And that's the only way. All right, so the president of the FA was on yesterday's edition of a personality profile with Lexis Bill. He also talked about the recent insane and bizarre move of Asante Kotoko and Indiana Stars to have started their Premier League encounter with 10 men each. Okay, let me say that, uh, first of all, I have not seen the match reports. Okay. So I would have to be careful on what I say here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have read pieces of what seemed to have happened mm. on media platforms. Uh, I've seen pieces of the, the match footage on, on social media. Indeed, what I saw is quite worrying. But I would not want to comment too much because I'm, I have set up an institution and I want the institution to work. I want the structures to work. Okay. Uh, but clearly, what we saw on the screens and what has been reported on social media platforms is not what we yeah. want for our, for our football. Okay. Not at all. All right. So on that subject, uh, former Black Stars player Augustine Arinfo has expressed his uh, massive disappointment in both Adriana and Asante Kotoko? Yes, I cannot explain what really happened because <laughs> I don't really understand what I saw yesterday. Uh, right before the match commenced, I was, I was doing punditry work on start time mm. and uh, we're hearing information as to the late arrival of the club, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, yeah. and its related issues. So if you bear with me, the game did not even start on time. Exactly. And so for both teams to come on the field of play and almost immediately start to dramatize issues, I, 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 I was asking myself what was the issue because during when they were shaking hands, you mm -hmm. saw the Kotoko goalkeeper fall down, hold his face as if somebody had struck him. Mm -hmm. And then just before the commence of the match, commencement, I saw one player out, this player out. And I asked myself, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And... And for me, as a former footballer and also a coach, a tanker person, I really can't think far about what what really was going on, what really happened. And I'm very, very, very disappointed. I don't know. I mean, at this age, I mean, 2020, that these players, you want to inculcate in them that somebody somewhere has said that we should not start because they are also, I don't really get it. But does it, it even play a role at all? Does it work? I don't know, because I have never been through this before. You see, I've always said that when I moved from soccer missionaries to Ash Gold, mm. when we had David Booth, was when I realized that all these things that we waste our time on, because soccer missionaries, we go to the beach, we will be singing, I mean, gospel and all that, thing. at night, whilst we were supposed to sleep, we were mm. there thinking that we were praying. And this man who go into the sea naked, he, when he comes back, he has some egg in his hand, mm. he tell, uh, take it where there's some river just before, as if it was when he gets there, drop it in, he gives to our official. We thought that we had gone there to, to pray, to God, because we were not, we were singing gospel. Then, 2 a.m. at night. And then I moved to Gold Falls and David Boot. All right, so I guess I'm for a reaction to what happened there during that Kumasi Asante Kotoko in Indiana Stars game, which was played on Wednesday. Well, yesterday, three Premier League matches were played um, to complete uh, match the 11 uh, fixtures. And uh, at the Accra Stadium, Accra Great Olympics, 
uh, they play their host to Bakum Shells. The Olympics lost that game by a goal to know. Kim Faisal are still winless. After match day 11, they drew their game with Ligon City's 1-1 uh, at the Obwase Link Clay Stadium. Liberty professionals could not replicate uh, their wonderful uh, feat over Indiana Stars on Sunday as they lost 2-1 to Bichem United away. Well, yesterday, sports had a share uh, at the State of the Nation address uh, presented by, the, uh, by His Excellency Nana Adedanko Yokufad. Ten youth in sports centers of excellence are being constructed across ten regions of the country at Wa, Doma, Dunkwa, Onofin, O, Koforidua, Ninehi, Yendi, Navrongo, Axin, and Kanishi. To harness and develop the and entrepreneurial abilities and sporting talents of the youth. All 10 will be completed this year, and the six newly created regions will also be provided with the same facilities from this year. Each center will have a counseling center for entrepreneurship development, a conference center, an ICT center, a restaurant, hostel facility and offices, a FIFA standard football pitch, an eight-lane athletic track, tennis courts, multi-purpose courts for basketball, handball, tennis, volleyball, and other sporting disciplines, and a gymnasium. We're making sure there'll be room for the future Alice Anums, Micah Hayes, and Babayaras to develop their skills. We want to make sure that when our children turn on the televisions to watch sporting programs, they will be able to find on the track and field and tracks Ghanaians competing at the highest levels. All right, so that was uh, Nana Adedankwe Kufa, the President of the Republic of Ghana, so yesterday's State of the Nation address. Uh, well, so this weekend, we're not going to have Ghana Premier League games. Rather, we'll have MT and FA Cup matches. Kumasiya Sante Kotoko will take on Deportivo. That game, we understand, will be at the Obwase Lenklay Stadium. Akra Hartefog at the Accra Stadium will take on Dambot, another lower division side. Three Premier League encounters in the MTN Africa round of 64 games. And of course, when you join us at 2 on Sports Day, we definitely will give you all the fixtures. Now, let's uh, look at what happened yesterday in the UEFA Europa League. Thursday night football for Manchester United, Arsenal over Hampton Wanderers. These are teams uh, from England playing in that competition. Manchester United went away to play against Club Bruges and they drew 1-1. As Jose Mourinho said, their setup always favors them when they play against a big side. So, of course, what it means is that playing against the likes of Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, Manchester City are all top sides that Manchester United this season have been able to beat. But the smaller teams is unable to do so. Yesterday, they drew 1-1. Highlight of that plus other games for you. Enjoy. What, what a strike that was uh, from Ruben Neves. And you saw that Adama Traore Cross. Well, and Walker, Charlie Adama Troy is one player you guys should, by all means, get next season during the summer transfer window. And before I hand over to you, you your mean team Liverpool Chelsea. or No, I'm Chelsea. talking about Chelsea. <laughs> Liverpool, they, they don't need Adama Troy. They, they have equally good players in there to oh, win the okay. Premier League for the next five years. So they don't need the likes exactly. of Adama Troy. Oh, we have no dog. That's what happens when your team is doing well. But, Roland, I mean, uh, this weekend, your team Chelsea, you, you start the English Premier League, early kickoff. On Saturday, that's uh, tomorrow yeah. with Tottenham Hotspur. So that's uh, a landing derby. Jose Mourinho back to his oh, former it's a, side. It's a done deal for us mm. because we know that Tottenham don't have the Arsenals now. They don't have a clear cut. Yeah, Arsenal Hurricane is injured. Right someone is injured. Yeah, mm. and then Dele Ali is also not in yeah. good form currently, and that is why you get to see that in the last match um, when they played the UFA. So lo lo long story short, is a Chelsea win? Oh, it should be about two, three nil. All right, okay. So take over. <laughs> well, thank you. And um, again, please make sure you stay with us because we're, we're going to have some great interactions right here. The President State of, of the Nation Address, generating more debate. We'll be having Patrick Yabwama. Uh, he is a Deputy Minister for Sanitation and then also Member of Parliament for uh, Tamale North, also spending some time with us. We're talking about Alasa Suhini. But our campaign, Arrive Alive, is still ongoing. Make sure that you do add the hashtag to all commentary. And it is important that when you see anything untoward on the road, uh, make sure you take a video or a picture or you have witnessed any of them, whether it could be basic infra infractions or accidents, as you tag us on Facebook, Join News on TV, uh, through our Twitter handle, Join News on TV, and always add the 
the hashtag arrive alive hashtag am show hashtag joy news that's how we do it right here on the show but also we're going to have uh, joy prime with the support from uh, muti bringing us race to heart it is a health walk to make all of us aware about the need to exercise more to protect our organs especially our heart uh, because um, in the process of this great work they're going to have medical screening they're going to check your bmi your blood pressure all the basic routines that your body would need including your sugar levels and all so uh, the work is going to be from a police station many of you tend to patronize there these days to pediasi primarily starting at 5.30 a.m. and we'll be climaxing with an aerobic session. So we'll hear from key partners, Moti, on the show today and their partnership with Joy Prime. I tell you, promises to be exciting. If you participate, it will be good for you and your health. Right now, let's do the discussions. We'll be right back. 